Question 6B now. The diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows the cross section of two cylindrical jars. Jar X and jar Y. The diagram or the diameters of jar X and jar Y are 3D and D respectively. Initially jar Y is empty. Jar X contains water to a de height or depth of 4 centimeters. Determine in terms of pi and d the volume of water in jar X. Hmm. Let's see. The height of water in jar X. Now, you know, they say it is cylindrical. So, if you look at the bottom or the top of the jar, you would see a circle. Now, you know that the radius is from the center to anywhere on the circumference. The diameter is 3D, so the radius is half of 3D. What is half of 3? Half of 3 is 1.5, so it's 1.5. D is the radius, so the radius is 1.5 D. The area of the cross section is pi r squared. But then we're not going to use r. r is 1.5 D, so it's 1.5 D r squared. Alright? We could simplify this out now and say that the area is pi times you know 1.5 squared is 2.25 so it's 2.25 d squared so we have 2.25 times d squared because the 1.5 is squared and the d is squared separately now putting the letters in front we could say the area is pi no numbers in front is 2.25 pi d squared so that is the area now what about the height because what they ask for is the volume and the volume is pi r squared times h in other words the area times the height the area is 4 so the volume is 4 times 2.25 pi d squared when you multiply 2.25 by 4 you get 9 so in this case is pi d squared in this case what you have is the volume is 9 multiplied by pi d squared so it's 9 pi d squared so that's b part 1